Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proflex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL store process tutorial for beginners. This is our part 2. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about create process statement. In our first part guys, we had discussed about the introduction, about the features, as well as we had seen about the drawbacks while using our MySQL store processor. Now inside this video, we are going to create some of the processors related to our database. So what basically using the syntax or we have to follow a syntax to create any processor inside our database. So if you back to next slide, this slide basically gives us all the information about the syntax of creating any stored processor in our database. So this is all about our syntax. Okay, so here we have to write delimiter, create processor, here we have to pass the processor name, begin and and here is our the body part of our stored processor and finally we have to write about the delimiter. So what basically this syntax mean? We are going to examine the syntax line by line to understand about the syntax of create processor statement. So the first command that we have written something called delimiter forward slash forward slash. So the first command is delimiter which is not related to our stored processor syntax. The delimiter statement changes the standard delimiter which is semicolon to another symbol. What basically these line means? This line simply means that this is basically our stored processor. But we have included like delimiter here and the delimiter here it's because because we are going to write our all queries terminated by semicolon. If I suppose pass semicolon here, then the interpreter of MySQL get confused that it is a MySQL statement. But remember, this is not a command. This is only notified that we have we are going to declare about a stored processor in our database. So we are going to inform about the interpreter of MySQL is that these all are single stored processor so that's why we have declared as this is used as a delimiter okay and finally we have terminated as semicolon so that the interpreter known as this is whole as a single stored processor now if I back to the examination of syntax the first command is delimiter which is not related to our stored processor syntax it is because the main concept or the main logic of this syntax is goes inside this begin and the int line. So that's why these delimiter lines are not a part of this stored processor syntax. Now why do we have to change the delimiter? Why we have changed from semicolon, let's say semicolon to forward slash? It's because we want to pass the stored processor to the server as a whole rather than letting MySQL tool interpret each statement at a time. It means that if suppose we are going to pass as a semicolon here, it means that the interpreter will interpret or read line by line to run this stored processor. But we want that the stored processor should run at a single time when we call this stored processor. So that's why we have changed from semicolon to this forward slash. This is not ab all about using forward slash. If you want to use suppose dollar dollar symbol also we can use that. If you want to use dollar symbol here. So we want also to tell here that we are going to add this dollar symbol right here so that this dollar symbol is now converted at the end of line again back to the semicolon. So we can change this delimiter symbol according to our use. If we want to pass the hash symbol, we can obviously, we can change this delimiter symbol. Okay, so I'm going to convert again to the forward slash. Now let's go ahead and read the another line. So the following the AND keyword, here is the AND keyword. We use delimiter to indicate that the end of the stored processor. The last command delimiter sem semicolon changes the delimiter back to the semicolon. Now here we are going to tell the interpreter that the stored processor has completed its logic. Now the last semicolon indicates that we are going to add this delimiter symbol means we are going to replace this forward slash by using this semicolon. 
if I scroll down to the slide, the section between begin and end is called the end of the processor, sorry, the body of the stored processor. We put the declarative SQL statements inside the body to handle our business logic. As we can see that inside this create processor syntax, all the logics or all the codes actually we will write inside this begin and the end block. So this is all about the examination of syntax. If we back to the next slide, let's say that suppose we are going to make a stored processor to our database. Now we have created, we have used our logic here. So how can we call this stored processor? So we have a syntax to call this stored processor. If we go to the next slide. So here, if we want to call about the stored processor, this is the syntax we have to actually follow. Here we have to write call and the stored processor name what we have specified at the time of creation. This is not uppercase. If you want to write, suppose if you want to write in lowercase, it's okay. Now let's say that. If we back to phpMyAdmin, we are going to create a stored processor, simple stored processor to understand about the syntax and the calling operations. So for that, in our phpMyAdmin, here is the database that I have selected. If we want, then you can select your own database to your phpMyAdmin. Now while selecting this database, I am going to inside this SQL tab. So click on that. Now inside this area, we are going to write our code to create the stored processor. So if I make some zoom, let's say that we are going to use the or we are going to create a stored processor inside our database called learn underscore code igniter. So let's say the first line something called delimiter and we are going to use let's say dollar symbol here. And finally, we are going to convert again the delimiter symbol to semicolon. Now inside that, we are going to use called create processor. We are going to create our processor and next we have to pass the processor name. So let's say that we are going to get or if I open this database into a new tab. Now inside this database, we have two tables called books and the migrations. If I click on this books table. This is all about my PHP my admin error, so don't worry at all. Now inside this table, so if I make some something like this, now inside this books table, we have three different rows, and this table contains the ID, book name, book email, and the book price. Let's say that we are going to make a stored processor which basically collects all the data, or we can fetch all the data from this table. So again back to the syntax, let's say that create processor, get all books, this is all about our processor name. Press enter, now I am going to open our begin and end block to write our logic. So let's say that begin and finally we have to write end here and we have to use the delimiter symbol what we have specified here. So this is all about dollar symbol. Now inside this begin and end, we are going to write our logic here. So let's say that we are going to select all the data from our table book. Okay, so let's say select all from, we have to pass the table name and the table name is something called books here and write the semicolon. So successfully, now here phpMyAdmin is giving a semicolon A here. So don't worry at all. If I press Ctrl Enter or go at the town and click on Go button. So before clicking, if I copy all the codes, what we have written here, back to slide and I'm going to paste all the codes inside this slide. This is the code we have created to a stored processor. Now again back to our browser, I'm going to click on the Go button. Successfully as we can see that we have created our stored processor, the name called get all books. So how can we find that our stored processor successfully has been created? So go to database, this is our database. So if I again click on this localhost, click on the databases, search about learn code igniter, this is the database. Now inside this database, 
if we see at the left sidebar something here underscore our database inside here a processor submenu automatically added inside this database if suppose you didn't see at the left sidebar just collapse all or reload this your page after loading that you automatically see that a processor tab automatically added inside our database so if i expand that now after expanding as we can see that we have successfully created a stored processor inside that the name is something called get all books if i press here now after pressing we can see that the syntax so if i get the zoom point and here we have created our process and something called get all books and this is the definition we have passed that so how can we run this stored processor from this sql command so if i again back to slide so for that we need to use call and the processor name so back to our browser let's say that call and the processor name that we have made something called get all books now if I press enter now successfully as we can see that by the help of the query which we have written inside this begin and end we have selected all the data from our books table this is something what we have got from the result set and also if suppose that if you're not getting about the processor tab here so what basically in that situation we will do we will just click on this learn code igniter click on ok and now after clicking on the database we have to go inside routine section so if I click on the routine section now inside that as we can see that this is the stored processor we have made now how can we basically run this stored processor right here now as we can see that here we have our execute button if I click on this button successfully we have run so while clicking on this execute button behind the scene it is running the command what we have used previously now it has selected all the data from our tbl or sorry books table so successfully guys by the help of this video actually we understood about the syntax of creating a stored processor about all the syntaxes line by line or uh, and also how the interpreted actually relates all the symbols we understood clearly and also while creating this stored processor how can we call all we have seen also we have made an example and run in our php my admin so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day